Hello and welcome to this video for Math for Business and App, uh, Finance and Math Application students. Uh, this is going to be a concept video for Chapter 3 um, discussing the currency conversion. Um, if you look at page 74 in the text, you'll see the chart for the currency conversion. Um, I have it reproduced here, so let me move the page down and get there, okay? Um, yeah, this here is the chart and the text. Now, I put on this slide, note a test problem. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, every so often I get an email um, from a student saying, well, where do I get the uh, factor for the currency conversion? Uh, do I use the one that's, uh, you know, on the web? You know, in other words, look it up right now. If I go out to the internet, I type in currency converter and I use the currency conversion for you know this moment in time well obviously that's not correct because you know uh, currencies change second by second during the course of the day so um, you know you could never ever have a standard answer uh, for the test question and it's not about what today's currency uh, price is it's about do you understand how to do the currency conversion so for the test um, there, it, there are test problems in the uh, pool of exams that deal with currency conversion. So uh, be aware that if you're uh, if you do not have one, then you're lucky that you didn't get one. But if you're unlucky and you do get it, well, this here is how to uh, work through that currency conversion. Okay, so you're going to use the table for uh, that's on page 74 when you answer the exam questions. Now, on page 74, they're talking about um, the uh, converting the Canadian dollar, right? And they're telling you that the uh, rate is, I mean, they're saying, hey, we have uh, $600 and our currency conversion rate is 0 0.210. So this is US dollars and we use the 0 0.0210 to convert into Canadian dollars. Okay, uh, just yesterday I uh, looked. Today being um, the February 27th, 2015. So just yesterday, the 26th, I had gone out and looked at the uh, currency exchange rate for the Canadian dollar, and it was up upwards of two point. I mean, one point two six. So in other words, um, for every U.S. dollar, uh, you'd get. Uh, 1.26 Canadian dollars, right? But so you can see why we're not using, um, you know, what you find out on the internet because, you know, tomorrow it could be different. It could be 1.27. It could be 1.24. You, uh, you just don't know. And so we're going to use the table here. And the way you use the table is realize that this here is for the U.S. dollar. If you uh, had if you were, say, for example, in, I don't know, Germany, you would have a table that would be for the Deutschmark. Or if you were in Japan, you'd have a table for the yen, right? This is the table for the U.S. dollar. And what that means is that it, um, that is the base currency, the currency that we're thinking from, right? So in this case, we're thinking from $600. Well, the way the table works is that the listing of the uh, alternate currencies are here on the left hand side and then we have two columns with figures in now if you know the US dollar amount and you want to convert into another currency you use this second column here okay? so in this case here we know that we have 600 US dollars and we want to convert into Canadian dollars. So we have to use the second column and we look down to find our currency pair, which here is the Canadian dollar. And you can see that the when we cross-reference that, you can see that's where the 1.021 comes from. Right? So we will end up, if we take our 600 US dollars, we multiply it by 1.021, the factor, 1.021, and then we end up with the 612.60 in Canadian dollars. Okay, so this is U.S. dollars, and this is the factor. Okay, so that's how you, 
you go from US dollars to another currency. But if we go and we say we have $612.60 in Canadian dollars and we want to convert to the US dollar, we use the first column. In other words, if we have the foreign currency and we want to convert back to the US dollar, we use the first column instead. So if I know that my you know I have $612 in Canadian dollars, I would use the point uh, 9794 as the factor and when I multiplied um, that should t bring me back to pretty close to the $600 okay so th the second column is when you're going from US dollars to a foreign currency you use the first column when you're uh, going from the current the foreign currency back to the American dollars but realize also that um, if you, you know, if you go and in this example, if I go from U.S. dollars to Canadian dollars, I get six twelve sixty. But when I actually go from six twelve sixty back to the U.S. dollars, just due to uh, rounding issues, um, it won't come out exactly six hundred dollars. It'll be something like in this case here, it was five hundred ninety nine dollars and 98 cents okay and that's due to rounding issues all right so yeah it, it, you can you know when you do it one way um you know you go from us dollars to canadian dollars if you try to check it just be aware that you might have some rounding issues and you don't get exactly as long as it's close enough you know you're good realize that when you actually go out to a currency converter on the uh the internet um they don't round the four digits okay you know they end up rounding like six or eight digits okay so uh, in order to make it more closely uh, to match the respective you know check that you have so um, just be aware of that okay so that's how you use this currency conversion chart and just be aware that yeah there are test questions all right and I believe we actually have a couple of homework questions so, um, and I'll be referring, when I'm doing those homework questions, I'll be referring back to this here video. So, uh, you know, you'll get extra practice in this so that you should get that test question right. Okay, that's it. Now I will uh, move on to uh, our homework problems.